All right, so thank you for tuning in to Debt Bites, our YouTube channel. And today I have a special guest with me, Jerry Detweiler from NAV. And I wanted Jerry to share with our viewers more about what it means to have a business credit score, how to establish your business credit, or even options to expand your business when you need credit. So thanks for joining me, Jerry. Oh, thanks, Michael. So, Jerry, what is one of the first things you want people, the basics, to understand that they do, in fact, not just a personal credit score, but they do have a business credit score? How does that work? Yeah, but, well, that is the basic. If you have a business, there's a good chance that at least one of the major commercial credit reporting agencies has a credit report on your business. And just like your personal credit report is so important for you personally, your business credit report is important for you as a business. And you could be a sole proprietor, uh, you could be a corporation, LLC, S Corp, C Corp, uh, but there are, there are actually credit reporting agencies that gather information about business, collect it, and then sell that information for various purposes. So what's a good business score? I mean, I know, you know, on the personal side, you're a debt and credit expert, and I've known you for years and years. You're nationally recognized for personal stuff, but what's a good business credit score? Well, on the business side, it varies. It depends on the credit scoring model that's used, just like with your personal credit. On personal credit, of course, most credit scores, certainly the FICO scores are going to go up to usually 850. There's even FICO scores that go above that, though. Um, on the business side, you have different scoring models, but generally a Paydex score, which is um, compiled by Dun & Bradstreet or DNB, the oldest credit bureau in the country, by the way. They only do business credit. Uh, the best Paydex score is 100. Uh, Experian, which has a personal credit division, hopefully you're checking your credit report with Experian once a year, uh, also has a commercial credit division. And the score that they created called IntelliScore also goes up to a 100. So you'd have a perfect score to 100. Now throw a wrinkle in there though. It, FICO also has a um, business credit score. It's called the Small Business uh, Credit Score, uh, SBSS. And with the Small Business Score, the best FICO SBSS score you can earn is 300. That would be a perfect FICO SBSS score. So you ha just like with personal credit, I'm always telling consumers, make sure when you check your credit, you're looking at the scale so you see the range of scores. The same thing is true with business credit, that you want to look at the scale so you see where you fall in comparison to other business owners. So you get a grade, essentially. Yeah, you get graded, you get scored. And uh, the question I hear all the time, because we've, we've actually researched this with small business owners, well, I've never heard of these. Why are they important? Well, I can give you a few specific examples. Certainly, a business loan would be a good reason to have a good business credit score. Um, there's The FICO SBSS score is used to pre-screen most SBA loans. So if you're going to go for an SBA loan, that would be very important. If you don't have a minimum score of 140, you can't even pass the SBA pre-screen. You aren't even in you know the game at that point. Uh, but also used for things like um, terms with your vendors. So a lot, the biggest type of credit for small businesses is not lines of credit. It's not small business loans. It's terms. It's vendor terms. It's where you're buying from your supplier and they say to you, okay, we'll give you net 30 or net 60 or maybe net 90 terms. In other words, you don't have to pay them for 30, 60 or 90 days. And hopefully during that time, you're you're selling your product, you're bringing in cash to pay them. So it's you know it's a cash flow tool to get terms from your vendors and suppliers, and they almost always will check business credit before extending terms to their customers. Which is uh, very important because you can just carry your costs from month to month. Obviously, that's that's huge. So what are some things that I could do to establish credit as a small business? And I'm learning about these scores, and they're important, and I want to expand, or I need. Uh, credit. I'm ex I'm exploring my credit options. What can I yeah, do? Yeah, and I, I will, I'll make I'll make one other point before I go to that, Michael. And that is that anyone can check your business credit report. And they, unlike personal credit, they don't have to have permissible purpose under the FCRA. They don't have to tell you that they're checking it. So you could have a, a prospective business partner or um, even a prospective client who could be checking your credit. I was in an Uber recently, and I was talking to the driver, you know, what do you do? And he said, oh, that's really interesting. I used to run a document storage company. He said, I used to pull DNB reports on all my clients. And he said, they were expensive, like 250 bucks a pop. Um, but he used to do that because he wanted to make sure his clients could pay him for the documents he was storing on their behalf. So it has a bigger impact, I think, than most businesses realize. But having said that, 
Uh, the process for building business credit is similar, but a little bit different to personal credit. Because with personal credit, you get a credit card, a car loan, a mortgage, a student loan, they're going to report to all three major credit bureaus, right? I mean, that's just a given. It's automatic. With your business credit, not all companies will report to commercial credit agencies. So you may have a relationship with a company you've been paying on terms for years, but they're not sharing that information to the credit bureaus. It's not really helping you build credit. So one thing you want to make sure you're doing is working with vendors or companies that will report your payment history to the credit bureau, and then you pay on time and you're establishing a good credit rating. You don't have to have debt. It could just be, you know, it could just be you're buying your janitorial supplies or your shipping boxes from one of these companies that reports. And that alone, you pay it off quickly, that alone starts helping you build business credit. So it's a pretty simple process. So it's a little confusing. Um, at NAV, we do help small business owners with a free tool called Business Launcher that walks them through the steps. And also, um, for free, we'll give them the names of companies that will report so they can start building those references. Awesome. So you've got references for people just getting started. They may have been in business for years, but not really aware of how important their business credit could be. So they need to start establishing that methodically and then you've got resources for established businesses that are already aware of their scores and how to get uh, competitive um, options yes correct so we're the only company that provides small business owners with free business and personal credit scores and then we also provide them we help match them to financing so we have a proprietary tool called match factor that will give them uh, a score that ranks the likelihood that they'll get approved for different types of loans all the way from a business credit card to an SBA loan and we can give them an idea so they're looking for financing that they're more likely to get and not wasting time on stuff they're not likely to get. That's awesome. So that brings up a question. You provide you know, a free resource for business owners for business credit and for personal. So is, there a, is it problematic to get credit, business credit, if you have, what if you have a bad personal score or maybe it's not excellent, um, is that going to impair or change the pricing for your business credit? Yeah, that's a question we get all the time, and it is an important one. Um, some lenders will can use what are called blended scores. So, for example, the FICO SBSS score that I talked about earlier, that score usually, not always, but usually takes into account the business owner's personal credit and the credit of the business. So it's, it's a score that takes into account both factors. Um, some lenders, like some of the ones I told you about just getting started, don't even check personal credit. They don't ask for a Social Security number. They will just extend terms initially, and so if you have bad credit, it doesn't really matter. You're just starting fresh with them and hopefully establishing you know, positive payment history. So it really does vary. So our view is that for a small business owner, each is important. Your business credit is important. Your personal credit is important. Don't neglect one or the other, but at the same time, I think it gives hope to small business owners who are saying, you know what, my credit isn't so hot. Um, maybe you were laid off and that's why you started a business because you couldn't get a job back in your field. Or maybe you did, you know, make it have a major life change and started your business or, you know, things have been tough and you put all your personal credit online. I just interviewed a, a guy who's um, building a sauerkraut empire in um, Northern California. And you know, he said he, he used his personal credit cards to get started. A lot of business owners do, but that the debt on his personal credit cards, even though it's paid on time, is bringing down his personal credit scores. So in his case, he went to an option, um, Kiva, which does a, a sort of type of crowdfunding at 0% interest that didn't care about his personal credit score, and he used that money to invest in more equipment to ramp up his production. So there's all kinds of options out there, and we want business owners to understand that wherever you are, you have to look at the ones that fit right now, but work on your credit so you can get better options in the future. Awesome. So, I mean, obviously with technology and the advancement and crowdfunding and all these things, there's there's almost all, where there's a will, there's a way. So, you know, you didn't, you ignored your credit and haven't had it established or you need time to grow it and you have funding needs now. Sounds like there's options and NAV is a great place for people to get connected with those resources. That's awesome. Yeah, that's our goal. Is there anything else you want viewers to, you know, know, any tips, any kind of advice about uh, getting and or establishing their business credit? Sure. I think the, the only other thing I want to emphasize is that the sooner you get started, the better. So just like personal credit, it's, it's a process. It takes time. So if you wait until you need a mortgage to start establishing credit, 
you're going to have a tough time. And similarly, if you're going to wait until your business is the point where suddenly you have this big deal coming through, you need to get financing so that you can fulfill those orders. That's not the time to start building business credit. You want it established over time. So even if you start small now, just so you get the, the credit score going, that's probably a really good idea. Awesome. So all you need is an EIN number to get started, right? No social, you can't be a sole proprietor, you at least need an EIN. You need an EIN, you can have one as a sole proprietor. I highly recommend you consider a corporate business structure, whether it's LLC, S Corp, C Corp, talk to your accountant or or professional advisor to help you get started there. Um, That's gonna make it a lot easier, but you could establish it as a sole proprietor too, as long as you register with your state and have an EIN and have a separate company built up. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being with me today, talking about establishing business credit, Jerry. And um, I, you're a nationally recognized expert. We've done some videos in the years past, so I'll look forward to having you back on the channel to do, do another segment. Thanks again. Love to do that. Thanks. Awesome.